Excuse me, little dog. Ugh. All right, guys. Well, it has suddenly turned into a rainy night here in the collapse of everything. I have no idea where this rain came from here on this uh, hot summer day here in uh, late October here in the collapse of everything where it has been hovering right around 80 degrees here at Bugs in a Jar Farm for the last three days, but I guess it's getting ready to drop 30 degrees tomorrow before heading back up into the 70s for uh, on November 1st. It will be back in the 70s, but I'm going to be long gone. The little dog and I have been working feverishly to shut down bugs in a jar farm for the winter and uh, haven't had much time for doom scrolling and uh, so I go on the mainstream media for my doom scrolling and this is the uh, the second biggest story on the planet uh, and, and, and guys I am really embarrassed to be bringing you a dog and pony show uh, I guess I should say a, a frying pan and fire show called the U.S. Election. Will this nightmare ever end? I'm, <coughs> I'm doing everything I can to ignore this shit. But uh, I, 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 I've got to say, i got to give good old, this, this is just, I guess this Yahoo News their own news bureau for doing a pretty fair and balanced report, although unintentionally as a fair and balanced report on the difference uh, between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris uh, from a climate change perspective is what this story is. So what this story is trying to do is uh, <clears throat> paint Donald Trump as the villain, which he is. Uh, there, there, there's no arguing that Donald Trump is a villain. He is, he, he is walking ecocide. He is ecocide with shoes. Uh, but then, of course... They're still trying to, the, the mainstream media, their pathetic attempt to, to, to act like Kamala Harris is uh, go, going to save the planet from climate change. Uh, so we already have, guys, we, we, we pretty much know what it's going to look like Whichever one of the, these planet-eating corporate whores uh, wins this election. You can look at four years of Donald Trump, and you got four more years of that. Or you can look at four years of Joe Biden, uh, and you got four more years of that. Uh, has anybody noticed that, that, the, uh, that the CO2, the global emissions, as well as the... Uh, temperature on this planet is higher than it has ever been at the end of this eight-year streak. Uh, four years of Donald Trump, followed by four years of Joe Biden, which is the same as it's going to be with Kamala Harris. Uh, global emissions have gone up, 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 up. Uh, the, pl the temperature of the planet has gone up, 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 up. Uh, sea levels have gone up, 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 up. Uh, our fellow earthlings have gone down, 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 down. Uh, we've got eight years. We don't need the fucking mainstream media coming up with this fucking horseshit. Uh, <coughs> Like, like there's any goddamn difference, whether it's Donald fucking Trump or Kamala fucking Harris. It doesn't make any fucking difference, people. Do you get it? 
are, 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 is, are, are there any of these little limp dick lefty, uh, little greeny lefties still pretending like goddamn Kamala Harris? Uh, is going to do any more than Joe Biden or, or Donald Trump to turn this freight train around? Pull your head out of your ass, you clueless fucking limp dick little greeny lefty. It ain't going to happen. It doesn't make any fucking difference which one of these goddamn planet-eating corporate whore losers uh, wins or loses. The only one losing is the planet. Well, anyway, what do you think, little dog? Do I even need to uh, bother reading this story? So, uh, but but uh, as I say, unintentionally, uh, if you just read the story w w without uh, trying, you know, to to follow this little Kamala lap dog reporter's uh, prompts. Uh, it, it's actually a, a pretty fair and balanced story. After we, you know, we get into the story, uh, the stakes, the stakes. What a Trump or Harris presidency would mean for climate change. They, they, they nowhere mention that we already have eight years of history of what a Trump or a Harris presidency means for climate change. It means the planet is fucked. Okay? Do you get it? Look at the facts on the table. Uh, okay, as a campaign issue in the 2024 presidential election, climate change presents voters with a stark choice, a stark choice of a, between uh, the frying pan and the fire, although, uh, as I've said many times uh, over the past four years, uh, with, with Joe Biden, and this is going to be exactly the same with Kamala Harris, it, it ain't just, if, 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 if Donald Trump is the frying pan, Kamala Harris is the fire, but but she's the frying pan and the fire, okay? At least with Donald Trump, we just have the frying pan or just have the fire. Uh, with Kamala Harris, we got the fucking frying pan and the fire. And 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 just so you understand, if there's anything that that, that I say in, in, in this rant that makes you think. Uh, I am a Donald Trump supporter. Uh, pull your head out of your clueless moron ass. You clueless fucking moron. The, the guy is, uh, anyway, I'm not going to go off uh, on, on that. Uh, I, I, I'm just trying uh, to, to point out, as far as climate change is concerned, doesn't make any fucking difference. At, at least with Donald Trump, we know we're dealing with a rattlesnake. His little drill, baby drill, rattle. Uh, the, the the guy uh, is letting uh, us know exactly uh, what his plans are uh, uh, for for the climate and, and for fossil fuels and all this. Uh, you don't have to sit. You know the guy's the biggest lion sack of shit uh, in the history of uh, presidential politics. But on this issue, you can believe every word out of his fucking lion sack of shit mouth. It's drill, baby, drill. It's frack, baby, frack. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's the whole bit. Uh, there's no confusion uh, with this lion sack of shit, one man, uh, om ecological omnicide Donald Trump. We know what we're fucking dealing with with this dude. It, 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 it's this little greeny lefty Kamala Harris who's the fucking snake in the grass. Uh, she, she, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't rattle uh, before she strikes, 
uh, Stark, Stark Choice, my ass. Anyway, but what I like about this article is they, uh, this is a long, I mean, I'll put the, the, the link to it, but so you can read the whole thing, but, but what they do is they break it down and we're just going to read the highlights with, 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 without, uh, and I'm going to break it down for you. They look at where they're coming from, what they have done in office, and what they want to do next. So we're just going to read these little three takeaway boxes. Okay. If, if you want to know where they're coming from or what they've already done in office, well, j just go read the fucking headlines and, and look at what's happened to, as I just said, emissions, global temperatures, sea level rise, every single metric uh, of, uh, of, environment, of climate and environmental collapse is, is, is every bit as much uh, in full steam ahead uh, under Joe Biden as it was uh, under Donald Trump, uh, of course, as we'll get to, and I've said many times, the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, and you can, and you can lump Kamala Harris into this, is that Joe Biden uh, has produced uh, and, and under Joe Biden's watch, this country has drilled more oil and gas, more fossil fuels have come out of the fucking ground since Joe Biden walked into the White House as Donald Trump ever pulled out of the ground. And uh, at least Yahoo News is honest enough to admit that. Uh, okay. Where they're coming from. And then we get three little things out of each one. So, where Trump is coming from. On numerous occasions, Donald Trump has called climate change a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese government. I honestly don't think uh, Donald Trump has said this anywhere in the 2024 election cycle, but I don't listen to a fucking word uh, out of that lying scumbag piece of shit's mouth, so maybe he's still claiming that. Okay, Trump has consistently... Trump also consistently portrays environmental regulations as anti-business and has attacked the EPA for enacting rules he believes hurts the oil and gas industry. Uh, again, uh, it, Trump's environmental record is, is probably the most honest uh, th thing uh, that we've ever heard out of this lying shit, sack of shit's mouth. Uh, he wants to burn this planet down. And he, and he makes no bones about it. Okay. Trump routinely misrepresents scientific findings on the impacts of climate change, including referencing, including referring to sea level rise as, quote, not the worst thing in the world. And, uh, again, I, I consider that a pretty honest submission. Okay. Where is Kamala Harris coming from, number one? Unlike Trump, Kamala Harris regularly talks about climate change in terms of the economic impact it is already having on the American people. Okay, and so now, now, now listen to point number three. I'm sorry, let's listen to point number two and point number three. Point number two, she has been consistent, consistent when it comes to the need for slashing greenhouse gas emissions. Okay, Kamala Harris has been consistent when it comes to the need 
for slashing greenhouse gas emissions. And then we have point number three right after that. At the same time, Harris has also said that she is, quote, proud that U.S. oil and gas production has reached historic levels during Joe Biden's presidency, which means she is a flip-flopping, inconsistent, lying little sack of shit. In, in, in this case, in climate change, uh, Kamala Harris is more of a lying sack of shit than Donald Trump. Okay, uh, Donald Trump has been solidly consistent uh, on, on his views about fossil fuels, uh, his opinion of fossil fuels, and, and, and uh, this uh, this bullshit, uh, bright green light, new uh, green New Deal hoax. I, I was listening, you know, to Sandy's show, uh, Environmental Coffee House, last week, playing a clip of Donald Trump calling the Green New Deal a hoax. That's exactly what it is. It's a fucking hoax. It, it, it's one of the biggest fucking hoaxes it, it, it perpetrated on this planet since uh, John D. Rockefeller uh, in, 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 you know, in the goddamn uh, oil age. Uh, that's exactly what the Green New Deal is. It's a fucking hoax. You go, Donald Trump. All right. So, she has been consistent about our need to slash greenhouse gas emissions while she is proud uh, th that, that uh, uh, under uh, her boss uh, or her buddy or whatever you call that guy, uh, that uh, the U.S. has sucked more fossil fuels out of this ground than Donald Trump ever did in his wildest wet dreams. But you better believe that Donald Trump uh, is going to do everything in his power to not let that record stand. Do you think Donald Trump is going to let Joe Biden trump him on which president of this country sucked the most uh, fossil fuels out of the ground in, in, in four years. You better believe uh, that that's number one uh, on Agenda 25 is to suck more uh, fossil fuels, drill baby drill out of this ground than Joe Biden did. Okay. Now here we, we have uh, table number two. What they did in office, well, uh, I've been sitting here for the past four years trying to explain to you what they did in office. So what did Donald Trump do when he was president of this country? As president, Trump pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Agreement a binding international treaty that sought to limit global temperature increases. Well, okay, I, I have been saying for years, uh, I have been cheering on Donald Trump for pulling out of that bullshit, uh, the, the completely non-binding, nothing fucking binding about it. Okay, I am 100% in support of Donald Trump pulling out of that fucking bullshit. That, that Paris Climate Agreement it, 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 it is one of the biggest flagrant bright green lies in the history of this planet. It, it, it is non-binding. It is toothless. Uh, it, 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 it serves... It, it, you know, it, it, it's trying to shut the little greenies up uh, that, that the fucking United Nations and, and all of these planet-eating uh, corporate whores, uh, it, it, it's a fucking joke. 
uh, it hadn't done a goddamn thing to do anything about uh, about rising emissions. And good for Donald Trump. And, and, and if the son of a bitch does get back in, uh, did Joe Biden get us back in that goddamn uh, lose lose thing? Now, 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 Trump did pull out uh, for for all the wrong reasons, but uh, the ends does justify the means. Okay. Trump also dismantled dozens of executive orders put in place by President Barack Obama to address pollution and climate emissions. Dozens. Does that mean 24? Uh, so uh, everything Barack Obama... Well, you know, you know my, my, my single favorite video clip of Barack Obama... In, uh, in eight years was him standing in front of, uh, in that pipeline yard in Cushing, Oklahoma, with his little hard hat on, bragging about how his administration laid more oil and gas pipeline under Barack Obama. We, uh, Obama laid more oil and gas pipeline than any other president in history. Now, I don't know whether Donald Trump uh, eclipsed that record or whether Joe Biden did. Uh, but if you want to know uh, Barack Obama's legacy, uh, look at the miles of uh, oil and gas pipeline he put down. Uh, Trump named a climate skeptic, skeptic to head the EPA who relaxed emissions rules for fossil fuel companies and revoked California's authority to set its own emission standards. Okay, what Harris has done in office. Well, you know, to the extent that you can just rightfully conclude and assume that Kamala Harris, as far as climate change and other environmental stuff, is going to be four more years of Joe Biden. Uh, she, you know, vice president, it's kind of, uh, what the fuck do vice presidents do? I've never understood what the hell vice presidents do. <coughs> but what has Harris done in office? As a senator, Harris co-sponsored the Green New Deal, a plan for dramatically restructuring the U.S. economy to address climate change. So uh, Kamala Harris is one of, you know, part of the AOC crowd. She is one of the biggest champions uh, on the planet, obviously, uh, of the Green New Deal, uh, otherwise known as the biggest pack of fucking bright green lies ever being rammed down uh, our throats. I, I can't get off. I, I, I've been ranting about the goddamn Green New Deal uh, you know, for the past four years. I, I'm not going to go off on a two-hour rant, just read Bright Green Lies by Derek Jensen to understand the Green New Deal uh, in addition to being a hoax that, like Donald Trump said, uh, it, 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 it's a pack of lies. It's not going to do a fucking thing uh, to, to save this planet on any level. And, and when you really start dissecting it uh, and, and really, uh, you, you know, put on your doomer uh, glasses and, and get past this little limp dick lefty greeny horse shit 
uh, that, that, that people are still buying, that the fucking Democrats uh, are, 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 are going to save this planet, you, you will find that the Green New Deal, uh, in, in many ways, uh, it, it, well, it's every bit as bad as the fossil fuel paradigm, this whole uh, un, this unadulterated horseshit, everything about it is fucking bullshit. And in many ways, it, it's, uh, it, it, depending on how you, how you view it, uh, can be more damaging to this planet uh, than, than uh, if it had never been fought up. Uh, and, and, and of course, the, 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 the bigger deal here, and, and I said I wasn't going off on a two-hour tangent on this, uh, the, the, the thing about the, the Green New Deal is a, a, a lot of this is in this word economy, restructuring the U.S. economy to address climate change. The, the bottom line of the Green New Deal and, and, and any shit uh, like it is, is that it does nothing to get to the root of this problem, which is overshoot and a global industrial civilization itself. It's just another way to to keep right on going with a global industrial civilization. It makes no fucking difference uh, which way we take this planet down. It, 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 Kamala Harris uh, is every bit a big a fan uh, of this completely unsustainable civilization as Donald Trump is. Uh, you don't get me going on a uh, $6,000 uh, tax credit to uh, pay pay people to bring uh, more kids onto this planet. Uh, it's the economy, stupid, uh, and, and and that's the whole uh, this whole joke, uh, this whole article, like yeah, yeah, like climate change. Or, or, or the environment, or like one goddamn person uh, on this planet uh, is going to choose between uh, these two planet eaters due to their climate change and environmental records. This is this one more reason I'm not voting for either one of these fuckers. But anyway, I got a, I said I wasn't going to get off on a two-hour rant on, on this bullshit Green New Deal uh, that Kamala Harris tr tried to hatch. When she first ran for president, Harris suggested the possibility of fining or charging oil companies with a crime for their role in helping to bring about climate change as, you know, the administration she was serving under what was putting more profits into fossil fuel corporations' pockets than any administration in history, including Donald Trump's. I'm just thinking that. It's... Uh, Yes. As vice president, Harris cast the tie-breaking vote in the Senate that secured passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, the biggest piece of climate legislation in U.S. history. Now, I, I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not arguing that, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act is the biggest piece of climate legislation in U.S. history. Uh, you know, which, which is even more damning of it. The inf just like the Paris Agreement and the Green New Deal, if, if there's anybody uh, in the Doomosphere thinking the fucking Inflation 
Reduction Act it is going to do a goddamn thing uh, about the climate. If you think the Inflation Reduction Act is going to reduce emissions, lower global temperatures, stop sea level rise in its tracks, you are every bit as clueless as a fucking MAGA maggot. Okay? The Re Inflation Reduction Act is a fucking joke. It has nothing to do on any level with uh, changing one iota of the tra trajectory of how fucked we are in this country and on this planet. Okay, but of course, what they want to do next, as if you can believe either one of these lying sacks of shit, but you can actually believe Donald Trump. So what does Donald Trump say he wants to do next? Trump's primary proposal for U.S. energy is drill, baby, drill. A vision built around his belief that the economic fortunes of the country depend on increasing oil and gas production. Hopefully, according to Trump, as much as Joe Biden produced under his four years. Trump has reportedly drafted detailed plans in coordination with the fossil fuel industry to eliminate a long list of Biden's climate rules. A long list of Biden's climate rules. I, I don't even know exactly uh, what, what, what a long list looks like. But if, uh, but if uh, Donald Trump wants to dismantle the Inflation Reduction Act, good for Donald Trump, it will not make a fucking bit of difference uh, to uh, the trajectory of ecological collapse on this planet. And Trump has also pledged to once again use the EPA to roll back energy standards placed on oil and gas companies. Well, I can imagine uh, what those standards are, look like. Okay, but we can believe Donald Trump. So can we believe Kamala Harris? So what does Kamala Harris want to do next if she is uh, appointed king of the world? Harris appears positioned to continue Joe Biden's approach to the climate crisis, which has been finally, which has been defined largely by incentivizing green energy rather than cracking down on fossil fuels. Exactly. It's four more years of Joe Biden. It's the frying pan and the fire. She has no intention of cracking down on fossil fuels. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. But she's just going to be adding on this unadulterated horseshit green energy as the pie gets bigger and bigger. Don't you see? Don't you see? She is pledged to unite Americans to tackle the climate crisis. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Kamala. At the same time, Kamala Harris has reversed her previous opposition to fracking and has given no indication that she intends to reduce America's record-setting production of oil and gas.
drill, baby drill, frack, baby frack. Okay, where is the stark, where is the stark choice that they were talking about? The, the only difference I, I see between uh, these two fuckers uh, is, is, that, is that Donald Trump is 100% frying pan and Kamala Harris, like Joe Biden, is 50% frying pan and 50% fire. Which is why uh, I, 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 I'm sitting this one out. It's a fucking joke, people. All right? And once again, before I get out of here, if there is anything that I have said in this rant that leads any clueless fucking moron to conclude that Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles would prefer to see Donald Trump in the White House instead of Kamala Harris, Obviously, we have had a failure to communicate. Okay. But, uh, with that, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I, I was going to spend a couple of minutes talking about the, the, this article on Mexico's uh, new president. Uh, who is some sort of, uh, she actually has some climate science training in her background. Mexico, uh, drill, baby, drill, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Mexico is going the same route. And Vegematic, would you weigh in here? I, I, I'm assuming Canada uh, is following the same Trump-Harris path. Uh, that the woman down in Mexico is, is following. We're fucked. Politics has nothing to do with how fucked we are. Does anybody believe at this point in the collapse of everything that it makes a fucking bit of difference which planet-eating corporate whore is, uh, is sitting in the White House or, 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 or anywhere else uh, on this planet. Pull your head out of your ass. We're going down. So uh, I'm going to get out there and enjoy some Netflix before we all burn up. My guys. Yes, little dog. Yes? That your collapsed trachea. That Sancho Panza's collapsed trachea. Looking like the rest of the planet. Sancho. Is your collapsed trachea... Do I need to come give you a Heimlich? We need to give this planet the Heimlich maneuver as we're choking on hope. We need a Heimlich on the choking on hopium. Bye, guys.